Dear friends, uh, we can interact with the Python interpreter in two modes. One is the Python interactive mode and the Python script mode. So we shall start with the Python interactive mode. To start the Python interactive mode, start the Python session. Click on the Python GUI IDLE, that is Integrated Development Environment. And uh, here we see that the cursor is blinking. It means that the Python interpreter is ready to accept your commands. Note this symbol. This is known as the Python command prompt. And here we issue the commands. So we are starting with the first statement, print statement. We write in print, uh, hello. hello world and uh, we have given a string hello world and uh, we have enclosed this hello world string in double quotes and we see that the output is displayed okay now we've used the double quotes to enclose the string we can use even a single str uh, single quote single quote uh, quotes to enclose the string single quotes then hello and hello world the output is displayed we can use either the double quotes or the single quotes to enclose the string so we cannot use the combination of double quotes and uh, single quotes to display the string uh, hello world uh, we are enclosing it with single quotes so it's showing that there is something wrong with the syntax we can either use the double quotes or the single quotes to display the string okay so we are writing again print hello world and uh, double quotes we are getting the output okay so if we are using the interactive mode as uh, in our case it's not even mandatory to print uh, to print the string means if it's not mandatory to write the print command to print a string even if we write simply hello world for example we see that the output is displayed on the screen and we this time we are you putting uh, the single quotes in the same command that is uh, same output is obtained your python shell or the python interpreter is enough intelligent to display the string without using a print command so let us start some let us write some other values i'm writing here three that is displayed now suppose we have some mathematical calculations i'm writing 8.323 and i am multiplying it uh, with uh, say 17 so I'm getting the result. If we multiply 8.32 with the sub 17, then the result is 141.44. So immediately it's uh, performing some mathematical calculations. Now suppose we have 12 divided by 7. We write 12 upon 7. Division means 12 is being divided by 7. The result it's showing is just 1. Why it is so? Actually, Python assumes that uh, you are interested in integer division. Because both divisor and dividend are integers, that is 12 and 7 in this example, so the result is an integer again. The easiest way to get an exact result is by making one of the values a float by adding a dot zero to the given value. We can write 12.0 upon 7 
to get the exact answer so it's showing that 1.7 uh, 1.7142 and so on is the result of the operation okay we also can write float and 12 upon 7 we are getting the same result so that's how we we can use the python interactive mode by python interactive word, mode we mean that uh, the command is python statement or python command is given at the command pro prompt and immediately the python shell executes the command to get the desired results okay this uh, interactive mode is no doubt uh, very helpful in uh, starting with the python but if we have a project that uh, involves multiple lines of code then it may not be easier to use the python interactive mode because we have to write multiple lines hundreds of thousands of lines of code are required uh, to be written for a particular project in such a situation what we can do is we can use the we can use the script mode and uh, we shall write all the commands in the in a particular script we call it the python script and uh, that script may be called to get the desired results so now let us now now we shall start with the script mode python script mode so i'm just closing uh, the python session i can uh, apply the command control d to close the python session okay now the python session has been closed as we wish to use the script mode so first of all we need to use an editor where we shall write our commands so we shall start with the notepad here in notepad we have to write the appropriate commands so we are writing the same set of statements that is uh, print hello world okay and uh, we are writing uh, three then uh, a given number that is 8.323 into 17 we want to multiply these two numbers and we have 12 upon 7 we have 12.0 upon 7 and uh, float float 12 upon 7 the same set of commands that we put in the interactive mode we have written the same set of commands okay now next thing we have to do is we have to save the script file okay we are writing here uh, easy to write this is the name of the script file and uh, as the as it is a python script file so it is highly recommended that you write py extension to the script file though it's not mandatory we shall cover a, cover an example where we shall see that even if we don't assign the py extension to a python script file still the program runs now for the time being we are assigning py extension to, to the file name and we are saving it okay and just close the notepad editor because all the commands that we wish to execute are saved in the script file okay now start the python interactive session that is python gui IDLE that is integrated development environment and here 
click on the file and open select the location of the file where you have saved your script file that is in the, our case we have uh, saved the file on the desktop desktop and uh, name of the file was easy to write okay click on the file and uh, click open so one more window is uh, opened and where all the commands that we put under the script file they are displayed to run these commands to or we can say that to run this uh, python script which is composed of uh, these commands simply hit f5 key on your keyboard that is functional fi function 5 key f5 key is to be hit by the user is to be pressed and all your commands they shall get executed by the interpreter python interpreter just hit the f5 key Ooh, now see the effect it's showing hello world only hello world but uh, in the script we have written for five commands one two three four five print hello world then three then eight point three two three into seventeen and so on but it is displaying only hello world the difference here is that if we are using the interactive mode and if we write three that 3 is displayed or if we write something like that 8.323 into 17 the interactive mode through interactive mode the Python shell comes to know that this particular calculation is to be done and uh, the result is to be displayed on the screen but if we are using the script mode at that time we have to write the print statement with all the commands we have to write print this way print 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 is to be appended because we wish to see the output so that is the difference between the that is one difference between the interactive mode and the script mode so we have written the print statement with all print command with all the statements so print okay now again hit the F5 key and uh, it's saying that source must be saved ok to save we are saving the source codes and uh, now we see that hello world 3141.4911 and all all the result we are getting so we have to use the print statement along with the script python script to get the result whereas it is not required if we are using the interactive mode okay now let us create one more file just copying the codes right click copy and uh, I'm starting the notepad editor and uh, paste I'm saving it save desktop name of the file suppose it is s uh, or uh, name of the file suppose it is s1 and uh, I'm not giving this time I'm not giving the py extension to the file and uh, just saving the file okay now let us try to execute whether it is executed or not if we create a script file and don't if we don't assign the py extension to the script file it will be executed by the Python shell or not so let us see file open then uh, desktop and here we have a file click on the link uh, all files and it will show you s1 open okay all the commands are displayed hit on the f5 key okay, we are getting the same output so it is not mandatory to assign the py extension along with the Python script file but it is highly recommended that you put py extension so that uh, in future you come to know uh, that it is a Python script file see the differences here also uh, we have created s1 we have two files easy to write and s1 both are the files where we have written the same uh, 
Python commands but in the first case py extension is given and in the second case we have not given the py extension so here if we have given the py extension then uh, it's showing us the type of the file is python file here it's showing that it's simpler text document so it is recommended that you write py extension along with the script file that you are creating and uh, it helps us in identifying the script file it helps us in knowing that it is a, this is a particular script file python script file and the python codes have been written in the file so in this video what we did is we learned about the interactive mode how we can use the interactive mode and uh, by using the using the interactive mode we saw how the output is instantly generated by the python interpreter but uh, at the same time we used the python script mode where we created a file and uh, uh, put some python commands and saw that how we can execute the python script file that is uh, all the commands in the script python script and uh, we also saw that it is mandatory to write the print statement along with the commands then we are expecting some output in case of python script file.